Hi there, welcome to the new lecture. In this lecture, we will be installing Windows Server 2022 Data Center Edition from Microsoft Azure Edition uh, on Azure Portal. So let me go to portal.azure.com and you could, you know, search a marketplace. This is a marketplace. It's just like your Google Play Store. Similarly, you have everything within this. Let's say you want a you know, firewall, servers, anything, you should be able to get it here. So out of a lot of other products, I can search here something called Windows Server 2022. So that's gonna uh, bring me a lot of information. Like, you know, if I just put hit enter, it's going to search and it's going to come up with a lot of things. So, so these are the 758 as on today, but it might change the number. But the thing is, many people are offering as a bundle. Uh, for example, uh, here, the vendor is a Microsoft. They are offering Windows Server along with the SQL Server. Similarly, you have multiple companies that are going to offering different versions of Windows with their applications or with their configurations. For example, here Windows Server with the IAS, they are going to offer and they might be you know, charging you something extra. So in our case, if you look at for the Microsoft point of view, so this is a server, Windows Server, and if you just click on create, it's going to give you a lot of lists. So I'll show you that list entire list by going in a different window. So I just have to click on the server. Then the blade opens new blade within this blade. I have an option. You, cho you can you know, choose your lot of editions of Windows. So we are talking about the Windows Server Data Center with the Azure. So if you look at here, this is the edition that we are talking. But in case if you are looking for, uh, you know, core edition, you also have a core. But there's a difference between, for example, this one as your uh, edition, which is also available on a small disk as well as the, you know, normal uh, device. So we normally go with the, without the small disk. That's what we wanted to use. So I could, you know, customize later point. So let's click on create. Now within this uh, simple step, so you have your basic disk, networking, management, advanced, tax, review. So all of these information to be, you know, uh, filled, then we should be able to, you know, review and create. So let me uh, fill up these information. So I wanted to put the entire configuration within uh, with related to this specific virtual machine in a specific resource group so that in a future if i don't want i should uh, be able to you know delete that consolidated one resource group that's going to delete all of that uh, thing so post to this session i would you know simply delete that uh, because this is going to be demo so i'll just give here win 2022 and demo vm and I should be able to give here my VNM. For example, this is going to be easy. Demo 2022, that's going to be the virtual machine where I can easily identify. And I should be able to choose a region where uh, my nearest region and or maybe, you know, I wanted you know put my data, all of the data into a specific region uh, within the Azure cloud. And availability, all of that, I can choose it. And also you have your option to, you know, choose for the level of configuration let's say this is going to be generation 2 if you don't want you could also browse directly from here the marketplace images also but i'm not going to do it in case if you do not want this specific size so when we talk about the size every virtual machine will have a different sizes like the number of cpus and the memory all of that and the and the charges that it can be you know, applicable for that size of virtual machine so you could you know see all kind of you know vms so I wanted to have, you know, more powerful VM. So I could, you know, choose here. Let's say I want with the eight CPUs with 32 GB of RAM. I'm fine with that. So I can simply select that D8 model, which is going to be a memory uh, full fledged. And it's going to charge me these mini bags uh, in your local currency. It's going to show you. And then uh, you should be able to give your administrator account details. So let me put here the username and the password and the confirm password for you and i have typed the user id as az admin and the passwords confirm password now i have an option to open a port number so i should be able to connect from my computer to in a cloud which is in this region east us this specific vm i should be able to connect from my desktop computer to do that 
I need to open a port called 3389 within the firewall. So that's going to default by choosing here a port, a port number. And in case if you have a hybrid, you should be able to choose that, uh, this checkbox, so that it's going to save you close to 49% of the cost. So this is going to be demo. So I would be choosing that to in order to save. And uh, you have an option for disk type. So I should be able to choose here the premium disk or standard disk based on my requirements so basically premium ssd is the preferable so that it shows or it gives you, you know very good performance um, but you know if you want to you know little compromise then you could you know go for a standard uh, and if you want to you know save a lot of cost you should be able to go for standard hdd and just in any case if you delete the vm it also deletes uh, the hard disk if you choose this checkbox and it's going to, you know, uh, encryption data, if you want to you know, encrypt it, you have an option to encrypt. I'm not going to do anything. And in case if you want to you know, add any additional hard disk, you should be able to add it from here. So let's click on the networking. So within the, this networking, it's going to create for me a virtual network with a default public IP, uh, also some kind of a you know, subnet. So it's going to assign even a public IP address so that I should be able to connect it from my device but in in any case if you do not want the public ip meaning you might have your site to site vpn so you don't need a public ip so you should be able to query to your local ip address of that server since it's already have a site to site vpn to your azure cloud and uh, these are the ports uh, 3389 i'm going to enable and delete the public ip and the nick along with uh, vm if i deleted a uh, virtual machine and that's all into the networking and management. So in case if you want to you know, manage and enable a storage account, uh, boot diagnostics, all of that stuff, you should be able to choose it. These are the default and go to the any additional extensions like maybe antivirus to be installed as a VM extension or some other things you should uh, be able to do it from here or you should you know use some kind of a custom data also tags will be you know useful in order to identify uh, what kind of you know resources let's say there is a disk and a disk can be you know tagged with a specific keyword so that uh, you know that uh, this disk is actually tagged with this specific value and later point you could you know run some kind of you know automation if this tag value has the specific things so that that our disk should be you know deleted or created or could take a backup such things can be you know done in the automation point of view and also useful in terms of the billing also you can easily identify based on the billing based on this tags and finally you should be able to create a vm with a final review and this is what it's going to charge me per hour basis these many uh, bugs it's going to charge for me and it takes a minute or so later point i should be able to change my size of the vm also i'll be you know demonstrating so just click on create this might take a minute or so so i'll just you know uh, stop recording here and i'll come back once the deployment of this virtual machine is completed after few minutes the deployment is successful and we should be able to click here to go to the resources or you should be able to click to the home page and go to the virtual machine from there you should be able to see your virtual machine which we have named as easy demo 2022 and you should be able to connect to the virtual machine right from here or if you want to know resize your virtual machine with a lesser or higher CPUs or the cores, you should be able to do it. For example, I'm actually using the uh, D8S V3 if I want you know, go for e, e model or you know F model virtual machine which has more powerful than this, I should be able to you know upgrade. For example, 20 cores with 160 GB of RAM, I should be able to you know upgrade it uh, in a higher things. And the most new thing which you should be known, uh, maybe you, know, you should you know, notice would be the admin center so if i just click on admin center here this might take some more time to you know uh, do it but otherwise uh, if you wait for a few more minutes admin center will be you know readily available and it has seamless server management uh, capability capabilities directly from here so you should be able to you know just you know use this inbound and you could you know install the a vm specific admin center uh, components within that vm and let's give you know maybe a couple of a minute and we'll come back here
once it is you know configured the admin center for this virtual machine boom i have waited five more minutes if you see in the previous uh there was you know different uh warning kind of message that you need to wait for five more minutes to in order to you know do it but now it's actually configured and i should be able to connect with your low uh, not with the local admin with my azure ad account but uh, i'm trying with my azure ad account uh not with the azure ad account but with the local account also so let me give it a try with the local account it should be able to connect it it's a az admin and you see here it's getting initialized Oops, it was a password wrong but you know i would be able to connect with the help of windows admin center no, I'm on the server. I should be able to look at my firewall or install apps, local users and accounts, PowerShell. I can run with some kind of, you know, commands with the PowerShell. I could able to do the remote desktop. Many things can be done with the help of Windows Admin Center. For your information, I have a dedicated course on Windows Admin Center. Please do check out in Udemy. That's all about this short lecture. We'll catch you in the next lecture. Thank